Well, hello there, folks. It's uh, Dana Ladder with the Fly Fishing Academy. And what I want to go over today with uh, a lot of requests from you guys is how to set up a nymphing rig. And now there's a lot of different ways, but what I want to show you guys is how we set up a nymph rig um, that's not using a tapered leader. Uh, if you think about the mechanics of nymphing with chucking an indicator and a couple flies, the tapered leader is kind of a waste. And so now tapered leaders are expensive. And so you shouldn't really have to use one uh, when you're nymphing. Now, if you're out on the river and you're dry fly fishing and you have a tapered leader and you do switch to nymphing, that's fine too. But here's a pretty cool way to set one up um, and you're gonna save yourself a lot of money by not using tapered leaders. So ideally what we're gonna do here is just use a couple of things of floral. Uh, we got some 15 pound and eight pound. And now the eight pound is kind of up to you, depending on how light you want to go. Uh, that's, that's what you're going to have to decide. So first of all, what we need to do is we're just going to take our fly line here. And make sure that we got nothing. So we're going to first build what we call a loop to loop connection. So initially from the fly line, I'm going to create a butt section, you know, 10, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14 inches. Something like that is kind of what I'm gonna go after. Not really a particular science to it, um, but we do wanna build a butt section. And so that's why I have the 15 pound floral here is because I'm gonna take something like this. Make sure you got yourself something to cut it with because your teeth, uh, they're not gonna do well. That's about enough for my butt section, so you see Maybe that's 14, I don't know, something like that. So the first thing we gotta do is we have to create a uh, loop knot at the top, which I can definitely show you guys that. So in the butt section, we got, we create one loop. And now I like to stick my forceps in here, in the loop and just kind of pull it tight. And then we're gonna cut off the tag of this. And then in the other end of this, we're gonna create uh, another loop. So basically we have that 12 to 14 inch butt section with two loops in it. Tighten it down and we're gonna do the same thing with the forceps. Come back, tighten down that loop and then cut off the butt section. Okay, what you can even do is you can take some of your older leaders that are uh, pretty chewed up and short and you can just cut this butt section off of a tapered leader that you no longer use because it's gotten too short. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put this fly line through the loop and just connect that loop to loop. We'll feed the butt section back through the loop, pull it through. Oop. Okay, we've got a loop to loop connection here. Essentially what most of your leaders are anyways, they do have that loop that is built in and then you got your welded loop on your fly line. So just loop to loop with our butt section. The next thing that we're gonna do is you're gonna take, I'm using eight pound here. It's what I wanna use today. So we're gonna take this and now this is gonna be the length of our leader. So roughly I go about six feet is my height. And then I kind of double back halfway and maybe I'm somewhere in that eight, nine, whatever, however uh, long you want your leader. Simply just cut that off. Is it long enough? Well, that's something you again have to decide, but that is going to be basically the length of your leader. And then again, at the top of this section of eight pound, I'm just gonna tie another loop knot because I'm gonna go loop to loop with that butt section that I created. I'm gonna grab my forceps, I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna tighten that loop down and I'm going to cut off the butt section. So we got another loop to loop here. You can also, if you want, you can tie a clinch knot, uh, whatever you want. I find that a clinch knot or other knots 
sometimes they break here so just trial and error will be your friend through that but I like to go loop to loop feed it back in just as we did on the top section finishing off this loop to loop and then pull the leading line all the way through right now I got another loop to loop connection super strong it's not a it's not a knot it's just loop to loop and now basically that is going to be my length of my leader so why the butt section like this well because this is where you're going to put your indicator okay your indicator so now you can change the depth of what you're fishing at about a foot so you can move it up or down the reason that i like this is because that indicator isn't going to slide past this loop to loop connection you know after a lot of casting sometimes we find our indicator has slid all the way down now that indicator is not going to move past my butt section so if, if you feel throughout the day you're going to have to extend the depth two feet then make your butt section two feet and you'll see we're 15 pound to eight pound it's clunky and it's not tapered but that's okay because as soon as we attach an indicator on this it's it's going to take out that tapered advantage anyways. So I don't normally put my indicator on first, but for sake of showing this, right? We want to go a little deeper. We just loosen this up, boom. And now I'm 10 inches deeper. Don't judge me on my measurements, but some somewhere in there, right, Ren? Yeah. Okay, and so then if we just want to go a little shallower, I can move that all the way down. And it's, it's not gonna cast, it's not gonna slide itself on your cast past this. So the thing is here, if you decided you needed to go way longer, or if you needed to go way shorter, then you're gonna cut this, this eight pound floral here, and then you're gonna retie your loop to loop, and now you're shorter. So if you, you do have room to move if you need that, if you need to go shallower. So quite simply from here, you have options, and that's totally up to you guys. You can tie a fly on here. You can tie, um, you can tie to the eye and then you can tie off of the eye and you can go down to your second nymph and you can go onto your third nymph if, if that's how you're fishing. Or what I'm going to show you here, which is a little trickier, is the, the tag part of it. Okay, so if we're going to fish uh, two flies, I can tie a tag about seven or eight inches up top here. Or you can tie two tags and you can have two flies and then you could put your, your split shot on the very bottom. So let's, let's go over that. We'll just go, we'll just go all in. So cut yourself off another piece of floral of the eight pound. Something like this. I know this is probably hard to see here, but Let's go up 12 inches, do you guys agree? And then all we're gonna do here is we're just gonna tie our two pieces together and we're gonna tie a double surgeon's knot or triple if you want. Double, one, two. You could tie a blood knot if, if you want, but I don't see the purpose. Moisten your line and then you're gonna tighten that down. And as you tighten it down, you're gonna see one of these ends follows with your leading line and one of them hangs up just like this. So let's leave the one that hangs out as our tag because it's gonna hang away from our, our rig when we tie our flies to it. And then we're gonna go back to the other piece that is not hanging off of here. And then we're gonna cut that piece off. It's probably, uh... okay, so basically we'll call that a tag. And then we're gonna cut that off. Okay, see that's on there. And then we're gonna go back down here about halfway to the bottom. And then we're gonna take the remaining piece and we're gonna do another double surgeon's knot. 
too. Again, a blood knot will work if you feel that's your favorite knot. Moisten the line and cinch it down. And we're gonna have another tag that hangs off. We're gonna go and cut this part that stays with the leading line. So make sure that you're not cutting your uh, actual original floral, make sure you're cutting the tag off. There's only one way to find out for sure and that's get this set up like this. So now I have two tags coming off my nymph rig and then I have uh, the original floral that's coming down the bottom. <coughs> and so what we're gonna do here to tie on a piece of split shot is we're gonna tie two overhand knots. The first one we're gonna slide all the way down to almost the bottom. And then we're gonna tie another one that is just slightly above it. So say a half an inch. And then in between these two knots, is where you're gonna put your split shot. So you're gonna have a rig, once you've tied your flies on, on here, and then you're gonna have split shots here. Your rig's gonna bounce like this off the bottom. <clears throat> Why do we tie these overhand knots here? Because you're gonna put the split shot between those two overhand knots. The bottom one, the one lowered down the bottom of the river, that one's gonna stop your split shot from sliding off the bottom. And then the one above it, you've created a weak point in your rig so that if your split shot does get stuck on the bottom and you go to give it a pull, hopefully it breaks there. And so we only lose a split shot. So when we bring the rig back in, we can just tie those two overhand knots again, and then we can put that split shot in between it. But so basically you've got yourself, I would cut this one down just a little bit with my teeth. <laughs> and then uh, you've, got, you've got your tags, you've got your nymph rig, split shot on the bottom and two tags that hang off of your line like this. You've got a great setup here. So that's kind of a, a way to set up a nymphing rig with a butt section where your indicator goes and then straight floral, eight pound all the way down Either you tie two tags off of this setup with a split shot on the bottom. If you don't want to use split shot, that's fine too. You would just tie one tag and then the bottom would be your point fly. Or you could just go right from this eight pound, you could just tie on your first fly. And then off the eye of that, you could go down and tie your second fly. You could also go from the hook of the first fly down to your second fly and then tie on the eye of that. I don't prefer the eye to hook, hook to eye down like that. I like to go both flies uh, off the eye. So there is a nymphing setup that hopefully you guys can save money by not wasting your tapered leaders. Again, I'm Dana Ladder with Fly Fishing Bow River Outfitters and the Fly Fishing Academy, and we'll see you next time.